Hello YouTube, part two of my Dell PC build. This is without a graphics card still, just running on the stock Intel GPU that's built into the CPU. Uh, but it is an i5 CPU. And uh, so in this video, we're gonna check out some uh, more intense games like PlayStation 2. Uh, we're gonna check out uh, GameCube and a few other systems that take a little bit more uh, power. And you're gonna see that um, this thing needs a GPU to go past that point. But Nintendo DS, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast will run just fine on this setup, thus making it a great emulation machine for everything up to that point. And then uh, on the third part of this series, I'm gonna go ahead and, and update the GPU and see if we can get some even more intense systems. But right now, this is um, showing you the um, Hyperspin PC build. This is the two terabyte that Mad Little Pixel dropped a while ago. You can find it on Arcade Punks. And so that's the ROM set and the ROMs I'll be using in this video. Um, and so if you like that kind of the rocket launcher and hyper pie, this might be another way to go. All right, so here we are. And um, I was just showing you this is the two terabyte uh, hyperspin build. And uh, I'm going to be running everything just separate on the emulators here. It comes pre installed with all the emulators, but. Um, it's a hyperspin build. I do recommend updating it. It's been out for a little while now and there's a newer version of hyperspin that I went ahead and updated to. Um, I'll post a link to that in the description. All you do is you download the new files and you replace the files or update. Go to Rocket Launcher UI. And so here's where you configure everything like your emulators, your controls, things like that. Uh, with my controls, I, I, I'm using an X-pad control, uh, Xbox controller. So I use the X-padder drivers and those work really well for me. Um, and then this whole thing is loaded on an external drive. Um, it's not as, it's USB 3.0, but um, you'll, you know, it still loads things up pretty quick. The SSD would load them a little faster, but um, you know, this is way cheaper. <laughs> uh, so here you go, you know, here's what the Rocket Launcher UI looks like. And so you can see I have my x Patter controller on Hyperspin and Rocket Launcher. I have it as my Rock Candy gamepad for Xbox and have that all set up. And so once you have that HyperPy all extracted, you wanna go through and just make sure all your settings files are correct. They're, they're booting off the right emulator, they're booting off the right wrong hard, right hard drive. Right now I have it on my H drive. If you need to change, oftentimes people just have it on the wrong hard drive. If you need to change the hard drive, like that's right now that's H, I just right click, change drive letter, I can change it to whatever else I have available. So that's usually the issue most people have. Um, I recommend updating it if you're running Windows 10 um, just to get everything up and running. I'll put a link to the description how to do that. And then uh, a lot of your settings are going to be in Rocket Launcher. You can go ahead and run the Rocket Launcher here. Oh, not this one. You got to run in the UI, the user interface. And uh, here's all your settings, your controls, your emulators, what goes to what. Um, everything should be edited in here uh, from settings to mapping. Uh, to general settings controls here as well when you're in Rocket Launcher. Um, if you want to update Rocket Launcher, go to Rocket Launcher UI, click on, uh, there should be an update button and it should prompt you to update. Just go ahead and say yes, or I'll put a link in the description how to do it. Rocket Launcher launch path, H drive right now. So just make sure everything aligns up correctly. I also need to add more of my systems here. They were removed when I updated, so I need to add those back in. You can add more systems and uh, get those in there. All right, um, other things to note is uh, your INI files, make sure the paths are all correct. This one's fine, but like this one, for example, you wanna make sure this is H drive, not F drive or some other drive. You need to make sure that all your Word documents, your notepad documents, your settings files, that all of them have the correct settings in there, okay? Uh, once you have that, you could just launch it. But for the remainder of the video, I'm just going to show you footage of the ROMs on here. I'm just going to be using the ROM packs on here. Just showing you that it does load. Okay, it loads right up. And then I can also get into full screen mode as well here. Hey, little buddy. Alright, so there you go, full screen. Really enjoying it. And um, as you see, it runs really good. So you can run the, the game straight from there, but I'm gonna just be, if you go to games, you see here where I have all my ROM packs and everything. 
that came with this build. So GameCube, you know, there's your GameCube ROMs, for example. And uh, we'll be playing with this on this video and for the videos uh, remaining. But that is Hyperspin, another option for a front end for emulation. And as you're going to see in this video, you don't even need a front end if you don't want to. You can just manually open the games through the emulators as well. So this is uh, 4x graphics, uh, full screen, and then we're going to try reducing the screen size. See, if you don't full screen it, it runs just fine. So I'm getting 100% no lag. And I think I'm at 4x. Three X. It's going to jump to four X. All right, and we start to get some lag. Wow! Look at that GPU. Ninety nine percent. So way more GPU powered, and this is where if you had a uh, graphics card. Uh, where do I want? There you go. But as you can see, it plays 3x no problem. I'm no longer maxing out the GPU. I'm using a lot of it. Go ahead and uh, see if we go bigger here. So as long as you play in windowed mode, it's actually fine. So windowed mode, full screen, 3x, no issue. Totally playable. Okay. So there you go, those are some of the limits. So this is the Dolphin emulator. Again, I don't have a fully dedicated graphics card and on this two, ter two terabyte build, they have quite a few of the games. So here's the Mario Kart. And uh, I'm gonna open up to show you like CPU and GPU. Um, I didn't quite have my controls bound all the way for these, but um, I was maxing out pretty quick on um, the GPU end, just in the menus as you see. So it really is gonna see some significant lag, significant frame drop without a dedicated GPU. Here, we're almost tapped out, but it's running. And if we run some others. Try Super Smash. So FPS not so good here. Now we're gonna run the Nintendo DS emulator because it's a CPU heavy emulator. It's not necessarily a lot of GPU focused. And so you're gonna see we're gonna you know turbo this thing right up, but it's actually gonna play it just fine. And I'm gonna be playing some of the bigger games. Eats up the CPU. I did use my mouse to break the window, but then now I'm using my Xbox controller. Get a car.
This looks pretty good, though. Okay, and then here we have the PlayStation 2 emulator, not running at full res, at a lower res, but you'll see that my graphic card is totally maxed out. But with frame skipping, it's actually fairly playable. Um, once we update the, C the GPU on this computer, it's gonna be way, way better. All right, so it's already starting to lag a little bit. The interesting thing is it's not necessarily maxing anything out. Hello there, man. I mean, it's running pretty good once I enabled the frame skip. All right, so there you have it. This is the Hyperspin build. Hyperspin, similar to Launchbox. There is a two terabyte, one terabyte, a few different Hyperspin builds out there. Um, I wouldn't pay for them. I know some people try to profit on this kind of stuff, but there's plenty of free ones out there. You can build your own by finding ROM packs and individual ROMs, or there's some pre-configured ones out there. Um, as you see, it's a little flashier. Um, and it runs off of Rocket Launcher. And Rocket Launcher to me is a little harder, in my opinion, than LaunchBox as far as like easeability. Um, so keep that in mind when you're deciding between the two. This video also showed you that uh, Nintendo DS um, and PlayStation 2 and some GameCube games can be played on a system like this, especially with some more optimization. Um, after that, you're going to want maybe a dedicated graphics card or something like that. Um, so getting a Dell and then adding a graphics card could also be an option, especially with some cheap, cheaper uh, cards out on the market right now. So with all this said, I uh, hope you enjoy this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment below.